Alright folks, tonight I'm going to talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now, Buffy started off as a movie back in 92. Uh, it starred Christy Swanson and was directed by a Fran Rubel Kuzui? Kuzu? Um, Fran, uh, she was way off with Whedon's, um, with Whedon's script. He wrote a horror, she turned it into a comedy. And then cast Pee Wee Herman. What the hell were you thinking, woman? I mean, Christ. Joss Whedon, if you don't know who he is, is the guy who has brought you Firefly, the movie Serenity, which is about Firefly, and da Dollhouse. Now, you might see a few sim similarities between Buffy and River and Echo, and, well, you'd be right. Um, Whedon found the kind of story that he wants to tell, and then he kicked ass with the way he told it. Um, so, Buffy... The, the concept languished for about five years until Whedon was rightfully put in the director's chair for the TV show. Now, the very cool thing about the TV show was he still brought it back to the movie. He still incorporated the story of the movie in the TV show. With uh, the first season, Buffy was expelled from L.A., and she, her and her mom traveled dad to Sunnydale to, to enroll her in high school as, so because she got expelled from, uh, from L.A. So... It was very cool how he incorporated that story and kept it going throughout the seasons. Um, he cast Sarah Michelle Gellar as Buffy, and Sarah was cast as the lead actress, if you didn't know, in the ghost house picture of The Grudge. Now, which that is an adaptation of an Asian horror film called Zhuan. Uh, ghost house pictures also produced 30 Days of Night, which is a kick-ass vampire flick. So that's my six degrees of... Kevin Bacon, but with Michelle, Ge uh, Sarah Michelle Geller, in the vampire industry. You know, it's it's kind of cool. You know, um, Buffy. She's the Slayer, and her job is to fight the forces of evil with uh, her her watcher Giles. He's the stuffy Brit from England, and and she does this in the s uh, suburban town of Sunnydale. Uh, she goes to Sunnydale High. She goes to UC Sunnydale. It all takes place in one town, and um, under the, under this town is this Hellmouth. Now, a Hellmouth is a portal where demons used to enter our world. It's also kind of like a magnet where demons are brought to. Um, there's two Hellmouths in North America. There's one in Sunnydale and there's one in Cleveland. Um, now, over the course of seven seasons or what's like 144 episodes or something like that, Buffy and her fr friends or the Scooby Gang fought vampires and demons and gods and computer nerds and werewolves and half demon half army men and giant snakes and I mean seriously the list goes on of what they they combated you know um, the series is definitely going to be in syndication forever and a Buffy movie on the big screen would be kick ass just saying Mr. Whedon if you're watching please take note um Buffy spawned the spin-off of Angel at the end of season three. So season four, five, and six, uh, they kind of had these crossovers, right? Um, Angel is this uh, repentant vampire, uh, which, well, he's repentant because he was cursed by this gypsy, so then now he's this vampire with a soul. Um, so you got that going on. Um, there's There's video games, there's card games, there's role-playing games, there's books, novels, comic books, a few fan films. Now, I, I, these fan films, um, there's a surprising number of these fan films which, um, appear to be porn. Now, I mean, come, seriously, come on guys, I know she's hot and all, but can we show her, like, an ounce of respect? Just saying. Um, now, if you were to ask me, hey, Johnny, what's your favorite character? Um, uh, I, you know, I couldn't tell you, Buffy, Giles, uh, you got Angel and Spike, you got Xander and Willow, you got Anya, you got Dawn, you got Buffy's mom, I mean, there's tons of characters, but my all-time favorite character was Oz. If you ask me who I hated the most, I hated Tara. I mean, Oz was this kick-ass werewolf, he was the nicest guy, he always had the funniest lines, and then all of a sudden he's gone. I'm not sure, you know, why they wrote him off or what happened, but... He was my all-time favorite character, and I was so sad when he left. And then Tara was there, and I hated Tara. I could talk about this for hours. 
if you ask me what my favorite episode was, I don't know. You got Hush. You got Once More with Feeling. You, you got Buffy versus Dracula. I mean, anything from season three with the mayor or season four with the initiative. It, it's all good. Um, I, yeah. Um, Whedon. He's a brilliant man, and, and this show is proof. I mean, somehow it managed to span every genre, which would normally push diehard genre fans away, but, but instead it makes diehard Buffy fans want it more, love it more. I mean, the reason I think I love this show so much is that it speaks to me on a level nobody has ever, nobody ever has. I mean, this show is about someone who is called to defend the world from evil. And the only difference between me and Buffy is that she's so much better than martial arts than I am and has better boobs. Seriously, though, I honestly believe that everyone has a higher calling, but only a select few ever hear that calling or, or take that call. I found my calling. I may not be kicking ass and, and staking vampires, but I, I'm taking my chance. I'm putting myself out there and letting you know where I stand. She takes her power away with, with stakes and crosses. I take their power away with my words and my blocks. Comment below. I want to hear what you think. Let me know what you think about Buffy. Characters, episodes, I'd love to hear from you. The more the better. Until next time.